Howdy folks, my name is Lanzo90 and welcome back to my tutorial series for Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead version point F. All right, we had our fun going on our Doom run. It's basically going to continue, but I'm not going to play the music anymore. But until the next time it's appropriate, which will be next time we find some awesome item. I wish we could grab auto grabbed again. It I used to press B if you press the G key and there's this like one item on the ground, your character would just pick up that item that's at your feet. But that seems to be gone now. So we gotta go back and get all these arrows. We should keep this on arrows, which it is. See, it's like asking me where to grab. It's like, eh, it don't matter that much. All right, let's go ahead and just wear the short bow. Because why not? Honestly, like, between wearing it and putting it on the sling that we made for it, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> like, they're, they're kind of the same difficulty to deal with, right? One makes the encumbrance less than the other, but you're going to drop it when you're fighting anyway, right? So, what's the point? that arrow come on pick it up all right so we have a nail bat now as we demonstrated it is an unbelievably deadly weapon and uh we're not gonna have any issues for a while i don't think you saw how many zombies we just killed fortunately made our character very very upset because he uh a lot of child zombies. A lot of dead kids. More than the FNAF franchise. That's still relevant, right? That's still relevant. Alright, so we're just gonna whip our car around here. And kind of just kill anything we feel like killing. I just love killing. As Carbompulous Michael would say. That's going to be... Oops. Uh, zombies are chasing that cat around. Let's drop the short bow. Okay, could probably turn the MP3 player off. Our character is okay. You're going to have to deal with the zombie canine sooner than later gonna do is smoosh this window in oh safe mode can't grab the cover and why not that's fine whatever just kill it when it comes in on the second set of objects He's gonna light that on fire and then realize that's the sink and not the oven. That might cause issues. Yeah, all right, zombie. We have a very nice spot here where uh, every space surrounding a clear space is occupied with long grass. You know, it's not as good as uh, 200 movement point objects, but now that we have a weapon that does this much damage, it's not really that big of a problem. Sorry, I'm trying to find the right zoom level for us here. It's very hard to find the right zoom level. Honestly, I think my eyes are getting much worse because I used to play... Well, like, oops. I used to play at the default zoom level just fine, but now I'm like, I'm having a little bit of trouble seeing this. It could just be the monitor size, honestly, because we're running at a higher resolution. That might make sense. Might make sense. But yeah, this looks good. It's just the problem is you can't see things that are very far away, you know? And then, of course, I used to play on that zoomed out level on ASCII characters. <laughs> Which required even more, like... Attention to detail, you know? Anyway, let's pull these zombies along up. 
And yeah, we're playing a lot more fast and loose with the rules of combat now. Because we just don't have to care that much. <laughs> now we still can't let overconfidence get the better of us. There will be times where we're going to still want to drop like our backpack. Come rinse but right now. We're okay. Zombie soldiers out here, which are slightly scary. Everything else, though, is not scary out here. I act like I could probably start fighting regular zombies without using terrain if I wanted to. It's still a good idea. Ooh, sushi made easy book. In fact, if we are going to... So I don't know why I would do this if our, uh, our vehicle is right here, you know? Let's leave, the, uh, leave the bag in there so we can fight things a little bit more freely. Hello, zombie. Just want to get her past the electric car. We don't want the electric car to get damaged. It is very important to our plot, plots and plans, even if it doesn't work. We still want its solar panels intact. We do have a soldering iron now, or not soldering iron, a uh, acetylene torch now, so we can actually take vehicles apart. I think this thing works. No, it doesn't have enough wheels. But we can change the wheels on it, and it'd be good to go. And changing the wheels is not too hard. So that's a very good to know. It has 100% battery power. Solar panel vehicles, if they're just sitting around and their parts are intact they will actually just charge when they're just around you you don't have to be in them or anything i think they've even upped the range of how far you can get away from them and still have them recharge it used to be that they still have to be within like a tile a tile on the mini map now it ain't so bad oops hello sir Get smooshed. My favorite restaurant guide. So, this isn't highlighted like a book, but it is basically a book because we have to read it. Or actually, I think we just activate it. So we press A to activate the North Haven restaurant guide. This often can take a long time for that to load. And what you'll see that's done is it's put all the roads on our map. And then occasionally we should have like one or two restaurants around here those aren't so important but having the roads on the map is pretty dang nice it at least tells us where other cities are unfortunately it don't look like there's very many other cities near us we'd have to go north to north northumberland south to Pelias. either way is a little scary though because we have to pass fema camps which are pretty dangerous in this game and in real life bazinga <laughs> wow so true yes we should be practicing our archery but man <laughs> archery takes so long to level up it's annoying yeah we can start just doing like backup strats rather than trying to get everything on on difficult terrain. It's for duster, hot pants. Don't think so. Do see these zombie soldiers out here? Just chilling. Hello, zombies. Grab me, you son of a... See, he got an attack on me by walking away. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Who has the better option there? Me or Orange O1? one
probably just depends what's grabbing it. Like right now I'm being grabbed by a regular zombie. I think we just want to beat the crap out, right? It's not going to take us long to kill it. Hey, this is another regular zombie. It's almost dead. I'd rather swing and kill it than let it get an attack in. Yeah. But if it's like a huge, gigantic zombie, then yeah, I might want to... May want to take a moment with it. There we go. Zombie soldier. That's a little bit more scary. Let's actually use those some terrain to our advantage because they actually have armor. I think we do want to use our our full window way up here, even though it's quite a distance. It's just a lot more, a lot more safe. See, we do a lot less damage to this guy than we did to the other people. Way real. Army gear, though, we're going to have to take a look at. We're going to have to, uh... You regular zombie? Chinook. That's kind of scary. I assume that's some kind of fish that we named the helicopter after. Yeah, Chinook Salmon. <laughs> Uh, is it a Chinook helicopter? Uh, you'd be surprised uh, what kind of vehicles are in this game. <laughs> you'd be... You'd be quite surprised. And that's another reason to go very slowly through a town. It's not... You don't want to just run... Charge head deep into downtown. Because you might round a corner into something really, really bad. You want to slowly work your way in. You want to firmly grasp it. Let's wear our backpack. And grab the military gear. Two-way radio. Don't know what it does, but I like to have it around. Army jackets can be okay in winter time, but we already have like leather armor and stuff, which is even better, really. So, going to worry about it. Wind beads. Don't think that's good enough for our loot pile. Gas mask. I think a gas mask is really good to wear now. You'll have to run some numbers. Oh, yeah, this is doing numbers. Don't. The Molly pack. Don't be super excited. And you're probably like, oh, I've played. Played so much friggin' Arma, dude. I played so much DayZ, the Molly Pack. That's the best friggin' backpack in the end. Oh. The Molly Pack kind of sucks with Cataclysm for some reason. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know why, but it sucks real bad. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. It's just the way of the road. Sometimes she goes, sometimes she doesn't. This time she didn't go, it's the way she goes. The propaganda poster showing the North Trop Dispatch a military variant. It depicts the iconic dark green, a Rachnoid Dispatch standing before a fence facing away from the camera blurring machines rushed forward from its back toward black silhouettes menacing on the horizon. It says, we are here to protect you. Those are one of the things that you do not want to run into by running into town too quickly. Army helmet combat. Eh, well, we want, we want to get as much Kevlar as possible. And unfortunately, combat boots, they don't get very much Kevlar, but they're like one of the only reliable sources of finding it. So we're going to take it. New pads, I'll take it. Steel toes aren't Kevlar, even though they're the best of boots in the game now, apparently. So I'll grab all that other stuff, though. The tactical gloves might be better. But we have to wash it all. Our character will not wear gross stuff. As you may or may not use, no. Uh, we'll take the book, the guide with us, even though it's not worth anything anymore. We'll put it in our pile. That far. Armor and gear. It's a tool. Always pocket in my lot.
Loading an aspirin doesn't need to be on me. Just needs to be near me. Just gonna wear my backpack for a bit here. Versus regular zombies, it shouldn't be too much of an issue to have it with me. Especially like a crawling zombie like this guy. Absolutely decimated. He had ammo on him. I'm sure we found glove liners before, but I'm gonna grab them anyway. Now that we know crafting stuff is what the heck is going on over there? It's a lot of zombies. Is that a ah? Uh, it's a cemetery. There's a lot of zombies in cemeteries. We have to be careful because there's there's all sorts of animals running around, and zombies will aggro animals and then they'll get pulled away from their positions to go chase the animals and then they might attack us torso is hot well yeah, bad <laughs> I have bad news for you there ain't much I can do about that I'll take this touring suit for leather though it says these motorcycle boots have Kevlar in them so I am gonna grab it Things we can do with Kevlar. Kevlar is kind of our next step up of armor. You can kind of claim that it's chain. Kind of depends, though. We're going to have an easier time finding leather than we're going to have finding or unlocking the ability to craft chainmail. Oh, great. I need my crowbar with me. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a problem. Getting up our nail bat sucks because it's so much more damage. This is why we really need a shopping cart. Now we have the acetylene torch. We're a step further. We still have to find casters, though. Should be able to just do shift A to use it because it's in our hands. Go. Oh, no. I'm hiding in a large cardboard box. Interesting. So it's a, a tribute to Metal Gear. Deck. Yes, there can be zombies in these. These are empty, right? I think they are. I think we would see items on top of it if there was. Wow, do they empty these out so there's actually nothing in these? There used to be always like decent stuff in these. Drinking glass. Great. Ooh, CBM. What the heck? What? <laughs> How come there's nothing in all of these, but then all of a sudden there's a cable charger system CBM? A complex port that is mounted above the hip. While active, it will recharge bionic power when connected to a battery via a jumper cable. That's really good. We still need a battery. Ooh, so, you know, stack powder is pretty good too. That'll stop bleeding. Uh, so that's our first implant. It is a CBM that will allow us to recharge our battery implant if we get a battery implant installed. And we'll be able to just re power it up with uh, like car battery power, which is actually worth a lot because it can. You also have to like if you can't find that, then you have to find other things that are. Uh, other things that will, uh... Sorry, I'm getting distracted here. <laughs> other things that will recharge your, your, uh, your implanted battery. There's other, other implants that can do that. Glow stick with glow stick juice. Steel bottle, what the heck? Interesting. Condiment bottle. Glow stick juice. Makes me think of that uh, viral video of the kid microwaving the, microwaving the glow stick and it blows up in his face and gets in his eyes. Starts screaming. 
And then his dad's like all pissed off at him and he's more concerned about yelling at him than like helping him. He's like, oh, it's all over your beautiful shirt. It's like, dude, there's freaking molten hot. Glow stick juice in his eyes. You're concerned about his shirt? Yeah, he did something dumb, but jeez. Food dehydrator. Vegetable cooking oil. Actually pretty useful. You'd be surprised. So mechanical wind damage is gonna be loud, so we might attract the zombies across the street if we're not careful. Recycle boots. Solder. Don't mind if I do. It's a reminder of the solders, but we need to repair a lot of our metal armor. And refit it so that it can uh, fit. The reading light. That might be really good. Hmm. Because often that's like the one reason you need light at night is to read. So just having this might be really good. I don't think we need leather gloves. Not enough leather in that to be worth disassembling. Is that a modern bow? No. Really, game? You're gonna you're gonna blue ball me like that and give me a bow stabilizer? <laughs> Ooh, what the heck? Level thirty butchering quality on that thing. Dang, son, where'd you find this? Grab all that. Umbrellas or eh. <laughs> there was a time where umbrellas would have been very important. Same thing with like the raincoats and rain, rain hoods because the game, it rained all the time. Unless you took the traits that made it so the rain didn't bother you as much, your guy would be angry all the time because he was getting rained on. But now they made it so it like never rains and it's kind of boring. I wish they would set it back, but I don't think they're gonna. Very interesting that we found the charging system though. It's really helpful. Vitamins. Oh, we haven't been taking gummy vitamins, actually. We probably should be. I doubt that most of this will fit in there. No, oh, it all fit, surprisingly. We gotta compare the, uh, have a lot of ammo too, which is nice. We have to compare those knives. Ah, we haven't used the freaking camera. I can't remember to use the camera, man. Going crazy. All right. Butcher knife to hunting knife. I'm actually surprised that the hunting knife's better for butchering. Like I'm, I'm sure it'd be a better weapon, but I am shocked that it is a better cutting tool. Even as fine cutting, unfortunately, one's not good. I butcher knife. You've served us well. Uh, you know, north. Now this is a north. The problem is, if we compare the hunting knife to an exacto knife, the exacto knife has two fine cutting qualities, so we have to have it. We have to have it if we're gonna disassemble things. We could probably leave it in the vehicle, but we also kind of need like a separate spot in our vehicle for things that we just want to pick up and put down, and not like uh, our bulk storage, because otherwise we have to personally sort it every time. Vehicle mass is simulated, so as we pile more on this car, or this motorbike actually, closer to being in trouble we may get. Oh, I saw the nail bat. It's at the bottom of this list, annoyingly. Which is why I like a separate spot for like that sort of thing. Oh. 
probably don't need the inhaler if we have the caffeinated chewing gum either. Just trying to keep us mobile. Flare gun's not really that useful. Honestly, I usually don't even grab them. All right, let's use the stupid camera on this crawling zombie <laughs> before I forget. So we're gonna activate camera, take a photo, even at the zombie, press enter. You took a photo of a crawling zombie. It is exceptional. Exceptional is the best level of it. There's a chance that you might want to wait for, you might want to take another picture to get a better quality image if you didn't get exceptional. Good. Okay. A lot of zombies on us. To the side where I want to lead them. I don't really like to let them destroy vehicles because it can cause issues, but vehicles are something you can get them snagged on. You gotta look around. But like zoomed out, look around. <laughs> we have that window, it's not great though, because more than one can get in at a time. do like this it might come in from the other window but that's why having this table here in this other doorway would help Actually a really good spot. There's like no way they can get more than one on either end of us. Circular side. I think we need this for something. It doesn't say that it has a special ability, but I think it does now. Ink tablet. We already have one of those, but let me grab it anyway. Other belts. To our character pants for a while here. Knee pads are in perfect condition, but just dirty. That's nice, actually. Away from my vehicle, please. Need me and you bashing my stuff. Take your copper necklaces. Put them in my vehicle. But we're all out of time for this video. I hope you've all enjoyed. If you did, remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Until next time, I hope you have a good day.